I'm just going to give you a little quick update on what's going on here. As you can see, I have a nice big table full of crap right now. That'll get sorted. Which is a half inch thick meter by two meter plate, which was a lot of fun lifting in. Now also I have near firing cannons, as you saw last time, and I also have a pillar drill in here. Now I didn't buy this pillar drill. This is um, my mother's colleague and friend of ours, Simon, from Angular Paint Strippers and Refivers. Uh, this is his, and you know, we're going to share it. He's literally through that hole in the wall, so it's not a problem at all. You know, it's Clark, not the best brand, but it still has some power. It uh, scared me the first time something jumped on it, and as you can see, there is a snapped drill bit. That's fine, though. We, uh, we all learn from that. I also have this here table in from my old shop and the leg vise as well. I had to do a little tiny bit of drilling with my USDS drill to get that so it would, you know, wouldn't move around too much and a little bit of bodge work right here. Shelves that James Medler kindly put in. Got my belt grinder there and we also have an oil, oil drum which I'm going to completely fill with water. There's a thin layer of oil on it there right now so I'm going to have to get rid of that. What I'm thinking is I'm going to fill it to the top, then just scoop it out. Um, unfortunately, it's not. it doesn't just ignite like that, like you would see in the movie. It's got a little stack of coal right there, a little stack of coke. I also made some racks for my tongs for my forge. I'm beginning to really, really like my forge right now. I'm really enjoying using it. I thought it would be a problem how it's only 50 centimeters wide, but it's not being a problem at all. You know, naturally, there is some coal spill before. That's mostly from the first times I used it where I wasn't quite used to it. Now I'm beginning to be much more used to it. Here are some racks I made. As you can see, you know, I fullered to find the points of the bends so it would bend accurately. Then here, this is on the 45 over the far edge of the anvil, so you can get a 90 degree bend very easily. This one's a little better to show you. And this is some rebar, which I actually bought, which I'm probably the first blacksmith in history to have ever bought rebar. Um, yeah, it's probably you know, a little, little stronger than your standard mild, and also it just looks cool. Anyway, I had to shorten this one up a bit, too, so to shorten it up, I twisted it, so you know, you got a nice little effect there. And yeah, you know, I put my favourite tongs all on here, so you know, some tries tongs, some beautiful Steve Howell tongs, I like these ones. I like these a lot. And I usually organize these in that size. And actually, you know, I've got hammer tongs, etc., etc. And some tongs from the uh, OCP. So this is all working well. You know, I'm going to make myself a neat little um, thing that comes off the table like Brian has on his to support stock rather than this roller thing, but for now it's okay. I had to cut a piece off the angle, there's a crack in it, and there are many more micro, small little cracks I see appearing. I don't know if you can see, but there are some right along in there, which is a shame. I just used my 9-inch grinder to use that, so I'm soon going to have to discontinue this angle. So naturally I've got, you know, tools all set up more neatly here. And here is a pile of forgotten shelving. I'm just going to leave that and forget about it because I, I, that, that annoyed me when I couldn't put them up successfully. Which is kind of a dissatisfying feeling, I can assure you. But yeah, so there will be plenty more to come. And uh, this is all very exciting for me. I'm quite tired. It's early in the afternoon. I only just got up, really. You know, naturally, I'm good at sleeping much. Um, in terms of the extension cords, I'm hoping to get that all sorted. These are going to get raised up. And then I'm just going to put extension cords everywhere. Once I can save up some more money, unfortunately, I haven't did. In the current financial situation where I am broke and in deep debt. Which is wonderful. Anywho, I shall see you all in a little bit. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that... Uh, this is interesting to you, and you're enjoying seeing the progression of my workshop. I'm certainly enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. You know, I've been making a couple of Christmas presents. So I'm going to gift my dad 
And uh, yeah, there's just plenty of junk everywhere. But uh, all in all, I'm extremely pleased and I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, this stuff's all going to get cleared. Those sheets of plasterboard, they're all going to get out. I'm going to see if I can get my plumbing sorted. My electricity is getting sorted early January. Perfect timing for my piece of equipment that's coming in. Surprise, surprise on what that will be.